Today I'd like to talk about discrete distributions, so please open up your study guides to the discrete distributions section. Now let's begin by defining a random variable. In our studies of probability, we begin with the definition of a random variable. Now a random variable is a numerical variable whose value depends on the outcome of a chance experiment. And a random variable can take on any or several of values. Typically we use letters to denote a random variable in probability. A random variable x is basically a rule that assigns a numerical value to each outcome in the sample space of an experiment. So once again, a random variable is a numerical variable whose value depends on the outcome of a chance experiment. Now we have two types of random variables. We have both a discrete random variable and a continuous random variable. Let's begin first of all by talking about a discrete random variable. Now a discrete random variable can be obtained by counting and discrete random variables have values for which there are no in-between values. For example, these values are typically the integers 0, 1, 2, so forth and so on. So a discrete random variable once again is obtained by counting and discrete random variables have values that have no in-between values. Typically these are the counting numbers here, or whole numbers, 0, 1, 2, so forth and so on. Now we can have infinitely many possible outcomes in a discrete distribution. However, the values that it takes on are counting numbers or integers or whole numbers. On the other hand, continuous random variables can take on any range of values. And the second type of random variable here that we talk about is the continuous random variable. A continuous random variable is a random variable which can take values measured on a continuous scale. For example, lengths, weights, times, etc are all possible random variables that can take on any values within their particular domains. And because these random variables can take on measures on a continuous scale, we call them continuous. So once again, we have two types of random variables. We have the discrete random variables, which basically take on only counting values here. And we have continuous random variables that can take on any values within a range of numbers. Now, in this section, we're going to study discrete probability distributions. A discrete probability distribution basically assigns probabilities to the individual outcomes of a random variable. Usually they're displayed in a table, but they can be displayed with a histogram or a formula. So in many discrete probability distributions, we have a very limited number or finite number of possible outcomes. Now it is possible in discrete probability distributions to have an infinite number of outcomes, but typically in most discrete probability distributions, we have a limited number of outcomes, and they're defined either by our counting numbers or our whole number values. Now there's two important properties of discrete probability distribution. The first important property of a discrete probability distribution is that for every possible value of our random variable x in the sample space, its associated probability must be between 0 and 1 inclusively. That is, 0 is less than or equal to the probability of x, which is less than or equal to 1. So the probabilities for each one of the particular outcomes of our random variable x will always be between 0 and 1 inclusively. Now secondly, for all values of our random variable, the sum of all the probabilities that a random variable can take on is equal to 1. So once again, probabilities are always defined to be between 0 and 1 and the sum of all of our probabilities in our distribution will always equal to 1. Now let's take a look at our first example here. Suppose you toss a fair coin three times and recorded the number of heads. Now the random variable x can be defined as the number of heads obtained in three tosses of a coin. So let's go ahead 